is probably one of the toughest things I deal with. Scheduling uh, of jobs, uh, determining when jobs need to be started and completed is one of the toughest things because when I start getting booked a month in advance, if we run behind, uh, the client expects a job to be done by a certain date. And if I can't meet that date, they either get uh, aggravated or they say, uh, Tom, we're going to have to find someone else. So me meeting deadlines is definitely something I've learned over the years. When I promise something and say, I will have it done by, say, July 15th, that job, depending on, or uh, no matter how big it is, it will be done by that date. And 95% uh, of the time, I stick to my word and schedule around it. If the guys, uh, I have a crew of uh, 12 this year, if the guys uh, can't get it done on time, I say, can you please work 12 to 14 hour days to get it complete? And they uh, are more than willing to help out because uh, a bunch of them are my friends, my best friends, which is also another tough thing, dealing with friends that work for you. But they realize while, uh, while they're at work, uh, business is business. And even though I'm their best friend, uh, there's a lot riding on the business and it's my life and my life savings invested in it. And they know that they want to help me grow it and they're going to get uh, rewarded uh, for contributing. So the greatest difficulty I've had so far running a business is finding a pricing strategy that works for our company. We started off in 2006 pricing thinking we could enter the market by offering the lowest prices. Well, wow, were we wrong. Uh, by offering the lowest prices, we a lot of the time attracted clients that wanted a lot of work for as little as they could pay and it meant we were spending hours upon hours and sometimes receiving no pay or very little pay. So started calling as many companies as I could, finding out their pricing strategy and I received every option possible. And that's been the hardest, trying to find a pricing strategy that works that's going to bring in profit but is also not going to scare customers away from choosing our company to work with. I guess uh, my biggest challenge might have just been uh, getting started in general. Uh, I'm a computer science student at uh, school. I'm not uh, a business student like uh, a lot of the other, uh, you know, a lot of the other uh, owners of businesses. So, uh, you know, just general uh, how to get started, how to start marketing, how to start advertising, uh, those kinds of things. You know, I really had uh, not a whole lot of experience when I started out. So, uh, you know, coming over, uh, trying to get over those little hurdles was, uh, was probably my biggest challenge. The markets are a real challenge right now. Um, they're up and down all the time, and it's really hard to know what to do there. Um, I guess I try to just pay a lot, pay a lot of attention to the markets, um, listen to what everyone's saying, and uh, I, I guess I'm looking, especially after last year, I'm looking to just lock a profit um, by pre-selling. The biggest difficulty with that definitely is uh, getting everything ready while being a student, um, doing your, you know, your winter exams while trying to get the business set up and running is definitely a challenge. Um, also, dealing with water is a, is a huge challenge because if you forget anything, uh, you can't, it's not very easy to go back and get it. So uh, it has really increased my organizational skills, making sure that uh, when the guys head out in the morning in the boat that they have everything that they could need and a little bit extra just in case something uh, comes to rise, something that they weren't expecting comes up, then they can handle it. Scott Metherill. Now, revenue, sales, income, profit, growth, all of that is great, wonderful. But what do you do when it really does start working for you? How do you manage all that? Another question for our young entrepreneurs. I've run into some, uh, some problems along the way growing really quickly. Uh, now that I'm done school, I just graduated from Wilfrid Laurier University in the business program. I can commit to this for five to ten years. Already I'm becoming so busy that, uh, and I've also implemented managers and crew leaders uh, so that I don't have to do any of the production anymore or what I mean by production is the actual landscape construction and the actual maintenance. Uh, both businesses are becoming self-run in the sense that uh, basically all that I have to do is do the sales and the overall management and the paperwork and the financial analysis of the business and let my crew leaders and my site supervisors uh, do the work for me and make sure that uh, things are being completed uh, to the level of high quality workmanship and the perfection that I expect. Uh, I instill it in all of my employees right from the get-go. I expect perfection because if it's not perfect, I'm going to come back and make them redo it with me and I'm going to show them what I was expecting so that next time I don't have to come back and say that wasn't good enough. What do I do with the revenues? I deposit them in the bank and then pay all my bills and then at the end of the year uh, give myself a, uh, a fair wage but I leave most of it in the business to reinvest. 
Uh, currently, I have four trucks, uh, two dump trailers. I've just recently ordered.